men need to be taught as boys that they can't please people. You know, so don't try to please people. Don't try to please women. Don't try to please your job. I know you gotta work. But don't try to please them. Just work and do your best. Because if you try to please them, you can realize that you may not be appreciated. You may get blamed for stuff. You may be accused for stuff. They may take you for granted. They may take your hard work. They may take your hard work as for, for weakness. People take your effort for weakness, uh, especially women, also your family. People take your efforts for weakness, and you may not be appreciated. All the stuff that people claim how they, you know, you got some people going to appreciate you. But do the right thing, but don't expect appreciation, and don't expect people to be pleased. Do the right thing to stay out of trouble, to stay from fighting people. That's why you want to do the right thing. Because if you do the right thing, you can stay out of people's way. And everything else, God will take care of it. If somebody try to fire you and this, all of that, God will put you in a better position or keep moving you in a direction that will keep you moving forward. So don't, but don't never fear losing a person. Don't ever fear losing a job. Just keep God first. Because the women are not going to appreciate you, your effort. You can take them out to dinner. You can get roses and flowers. Take them to the restaurants they want. Give them the extravagant wedding that they want at the beach with dressed in white, with butterflies and doves flying everywhere. You can do all that. And they still are cheap with the old local Pookie and Ray Ray. My buddies. I knew them all my life. Literally. So... You gotta understand, your efforts may be unappreciated. Don't think it's because you a man of God that once people see that you're a man of God, that they're gonna appreciate you. They're not gonna appreciate you. If they don't have God in them, they're gonna get jealous. And then they're gonna try to find fault in you. Try to start pointing out stuff. You never said you was perfect, but the fact that people can see God in you, they're gonna start looking for flaws. See, some people mistake, they mistake seeing God in you or seeing sparks of greatness in you because God in you, that they think that you're perfect or think that you think you're perfect. You don't think you're perfect. God in you is perfect, but you're not perfect as the flesh. In the flesh, you're not perfect. So, so many people misinterpret what they see and what they feel. Same thing, how people misinterpret confidence for arrogance. They mistaken all kinds of stuff. So you can't please people. And it's not a guarantee that you're going to be appreciated at all. It's not a guarantee that your wife is going to not cheat on you with her work husband. It's not a guarantee nothing. You have to stay prayed up and just do the best you can and to stay out of people's way and hang around the people that appreciate you and that celebrate you. That's all you can do. Other than that, in this evil world of sin with Satan everywhere, find a, find a reason to laugh, cut on some Mike Epps or somebody to make you laugh and uh, stay prayed up. Drink your water, exercise. And the devil gonna test you, the, def the devil gonna test you, the devil gonna try you. It's not going nowhere. He gonna try to make you mad you're going to try to play on your emotions, your temper tantrum. Don't fall for it. The devil don't sleep. So stay prayed up and get the sermon. I'm Alan Reed, and everything you need is in the description box. Everything. So examine the description box very thoroughly. And all newcomers, press like, subscribe. Welcome to Reed and Nation. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. i see y'all later on. Much love. What's up, Rillionaire Nation? This your brother, Alan Rillionaire, Alan Williams, the Rillionaire, the Rillionaire, AWTR. 
I'm all in one. Here to let you know if you want your Pookie and Ray Ray, Ray and Anthem shirts. Send me a message on Instagram along with your shirt size and everything. And uh, let me know your address. And um, the shirts are $50. So you pay. And then let me know your size and address and the shirt will get sent to you, okay? And any other shirts that you want from me, let me know and I'll send it to you to send me the information and I'll send it to the Cash App or PayPal $50 and your shirt will be on the way ASAP. Much love to you. Reading Nation, I'm out.